Integration by part 7. This is a probability example. Given the probability density function f of x is equal to 2x e to a negative kx when x is positive and 0 when x is negative. Find the value of k that makes this function a probability density function. Here's a theory. f of x is a probability density function if it satisfies the following. 1. f of x is positive valued, is larger than 0. 2. The integral of the function over the entire interval is 1. Total area is equal to total probability is 100%. Okay, uh, let's solve this. Solution. Integral from minus infinity to infinity f of x dx. That's going to be integral from minus infinity to 0. 0 dx plus integral from 0 to infinity 2x e to negative kx dx. Notice when x is less than 0, f of x is equal to 0. Um, we should also verify the first axiom that the function is positive valued. Well, let's consider that. Um, the function f of x is equal to 2x e to negative kx when x is large or equal to 0. Well, 2x is definitely larger than 0, that's positive. Exponential functions are al always positive, so we have a product of two positive things, therefore the function is always positive. Um, so now, uh, this part is of course 0 because you're just integrating 0, and uh, let's evaluate this integral. And we're going to force this to be equal to 1. All right, let's evaluate this. Um, so here we have um, integral from 0 to infinity, 2x e to the minus kx dx is equal to 1. Let's take out 2. We get 2 integral 0 to infinity, x e to the negative kx dx is equal to 1. This is an improper integral because the upper limit goes to infinity. All right, uh, we're going to do integration by parts. Let u be equal to x. du is equal to dx. dv is e to the negative kx dx. Integrating both sides, we get v is e to the negative kx divided by negative k. That's because of the substitution rule if you let u equals negative kx here. Okay, u times v, um, so integral u dv, let's write down the formula, is uv minus integral v du. So that's going to be u times v, that's negative 1 over k, x e to a negative kx, minus integral v, that's e to a negative kx, over minus k, times du, that's dx. So we get negative 1 over k, x over e to the kx, plus 1 over k, minus minus makes plus, and bring out the k, integral, e to the negative kx, dx. And we get negative 1 over k, x divided by e to the kx, uh, plus 1 over k, Let's integrate e to the negative kx dx, and we get e to the minus kx, divide by minus k. So if we simplify this, what we get is negative 1 over k, x divided by e to the kx, negative 1 over k squared, um, e to the kx. From 0 to infinity, and 2 times this. Let's replace infinity by p and take the limit as p goes to infinity. Limit p goes to infinity, negative 1 over k, um, x over e to the kx, minus 1 over k squared, e to the kx, from 0 to p. 
All right, um, let's apply the fundamental theorem of calculus and put the upper limit in and the lower limit. So what we get is, let's rewrite what we had before, 2 times negative 1 over k, x over e to the kx, minus 1 over k squared, e to the kx, from 0 to p, and limit as p goes to infinity. So uh, we get 2 times negative 1 over k, p over e to the kp, minus 1 over k squared, e to the kp, minus 2 times, bring, put a 0 in, that's just 0, minus 1 over k squared, and you get e to the 0, which is just 1. When you simplify this, you get minus 2 over k, p over e to the kp, and don't, don't forget, this is all equal to 1, uh, minus 2 over k squared, e to the kp, uh, plus 2 over k squared is equal to 1. All right, um, so now let's evaluate these limits as p goes to infinity. Let's look at the limit of this and also the limit of this as p goes to infinity. Okay, um, let's do a graph of e to the, uh, e to the kx. Here's a graph of e to the kx, provided k is positive. And here's a graph of y equals x. And you can see as x goes to infinity, e to the kx, the exponential function, will be much larger than the polynomial x. For this reason, this ratio will go to zero because e to the kp is much, much larger than p as p goes to infinity. For, the, for a similar reason, this ratio will go to zero because you have 2 over k squared e to the kp limit as p goes to infinity. And you're dividing 2 divided by a very large exponential. So e to the kp is much larger than, I should put k squared e to the, is much larger than 2 as p goes to infinity. For this reason, this ratio also approaches zero. So what we're left with is just 2 over k squared equals 1. Let's write that down. That's 2 over k squared is equal to 1. Let's cross multiply. You get 2 is equal to k squared. k is equal to plus or minus root 2. Now let's look at the function that we had earlier. Uh, the function was f of x is equal to 2x e to the negative kx when x is positive and 0 otherwise. otherwise. We have to choose k to be plus root 2 for this to make sense. We need to have a negative exponential function such that the area, the total area is 100%. So take k equals root 2. Thanks.